Hey guys, Adam Bailey here from Bailey Fitness. Uh, today, I thought we'd do something a little bit different and read some of our Facebook messages uh, that we get on a daily basis. Um, covering all, all, geez, my inbox is full all the time. Um, I'm super slow at getting back to people. Um, so maybe this is the best way to cover it off and do them all at the same time. So, first of all, hey guys, I joined Bailey's about two months ago. I like the cases, I'm sure that's supposed to mean I like the classes, especially body combat. My goal is to lose 25 kilos as I put, on, put it on during my pregnancy. What's the fastest way that I can do this? Any help would be great. That's from Sammy. Well, you've got the training part down pat, so that's a, a cracking start. But it's got to be, for me, uh, that amount of weight, which is an awesome goal and definitely achievable. Um, it's got to be about calorie deficit. So nutrition, uh, they reckon abs are made in the kitchen, so that's what we've got to do it. In a giant nutshell, uh, you need to consume less calories than you're, than you're burning. There's got to be less going in than there, than there is you're spending. Think of it like a really bad bank account. Um, so we're spending a whole lot of money in calories and we're not putting a whole lot back in, in the bank account. So the key to this, best way to do it is you jump online. Uh, I might see if um, we can put a little link at the bottom. Um, it's called the TDEE calculator and you punch in a whole bunch of metrics, your height, your weight, your activity level, and it'll spit out how many calories you should consume every day to maintain your weight. Uh, so for me personally, um, it's 2,700 calories, and that's gonna be different from me to you, to everybody's different. Uh, and then all we do from there is we slice off 20%, and that's called a calorie deficit. So we know that we've got 20% of calories that we're, we're burning 20% uh, more calories than we're consuming. So at the end of the day, three and a half thousand calories equals half a kilo. So if we can, we can sort of uh, be in a caloric deficit of about that per week, we're gonna see some, see some results long term. Other than that, track it. The hardest thing with calories is um, you think you know what you're consuming and, and all of a sudden it, it really blows out. So my fitness pal is a really good free way to, to monitor and track your calories. So TDE calculator, find out your maintenance calories, lop off 20%. And track it it's boring but it's got to be done all right next one hi team baileys what diet do you think is better for weight loss paleo or keto i've heard good things about both love your club especially shred gareth at baldivis is the best this is this is this is a fake message uh nobody likes gareth but uh anyway we're going to pretend that law is real um uh diet paleo or keto every five minutes there's a brand new diet paleo keto it doesn't really matter as i said in the in the one before it's all about um it's all about caloric deficit for me um so whichever you adhere to the best so as long as it's as long as you are excited about it and you wake up and, and you actually want to eat it um you know some people like the lean cuisine style other people think it tastes like cardboard um other people like to not eat bread, pasta and carbs and all that sort of stuff. Others can't live without it. So I don't, really don't think it matters. I don't think our bo on, the, on a small time scale, our body's that smart to figure out um, there's a certain method of eating. Uh, as long as we're in a caloric deficit, we should be okay. Last but not least, hey guys, just wondering what you would charge to write me an eating plan. I've downloaded a 1200 calorie one, but I'm not sure if it's the right kind of program. Thanks in advance, Michelle. I will never charge for an eating plan um, or do a just a generic branded 1200 calorie eating plan. I just don't think that there's a that there's a place for it. If I had two people, right, my mum and my dad, and they're both trying to lose weight. Uh, my dad's, you know, nearly six foot tall. He's 85 kilos. My mum's five foot two. Um, I better not say her weight on Facebook. Um, otherwise, no Christmas presents. But they're two totally different people. They have a, both totally different um, caloric needs, which they'd find through that TDE calculator. Uh, and if I give them both the exact same eating plan, 1200 calories, my dad's probably gonna die. Um, it might work for mum, who knows? So these, these eating plans are, are pretty terrible in that regard. You have to come, you have to figure out what you need to eat. It's not for somebody just to go, okay, 1200, 1200, 1200, 1200, 1200. Um, because it just doesn't work like that. Um, second of all, there is nothing worse than these eating plans where you have to go and shop for these 
items that are like Himalayan root ginseng nut from the deep depths of the Amazon rainforest, three of these berries mixed in with quinoa. No one knows what quinoa is. Uh, so it's about finding that caloric deficit, finding foods that you enjoy and things that you're going to eat on a daily basis. Um, you don't want to go venturing into just different aisles of food that you never, that you don't like or uh, I just think it's too hard. In, the, in a nutshell, giant nutshell, calorie deficit, no more than 20%. Eat what you want and what you like and what you can adhere to on a daily basis without, you know, getting too far out. Don't buy a 1200 calorie eating plan uh, because the chance of you sticking to it are going to be very slim. Is it's it's really it's really that simple, um, but not a lot of people want to tell you that. So hopefully that answers the questions, and that's all from me. If you've got any questions for our next video, maybe just hit us up below, and yeah, we'll answer those ones next time. Cheers.